morning from Kuala Lumpur. We are on our way to meet the group for a walking tour, but we passed by what can only be described as a small 7-Eleven, but we started going. Yep, I was feeling a bit peckish and the last thing that we need is for a hangry Nick during a three and a half hour walking tour. So I ended up getting this, which looks like a strawberry lychee flavored croissant of some kind. So I'll let you know how that goes. Super excited to explore some of the city. This looks a lot more like a bread roll than a croissant, but let's give it a go. Not bad. You can definitely taste both of the fruits in there. It's basically just a jam filled bun, but it'll do. They had a bunch of different flavors and I noticed one was chocolate peanut butter. So I might have to try one later if I'm feeling hungry. Mm -hmm. Yep, not great, but not bad. Trying some things in Chinatown. This is a sweet potato ball. Very intrigued. Mm. It's good. It's pretty simple on the inside. Definitely, you can just tell it's just got potato in it, but it has just a light dusting of sugar. It's not overpoweringly sweet or savory. It's nice. muffin which has sesame seeds on it and it's apparently a little bit sweet so I'm excited to give this a go. Is it deep fried? It's deep fried too. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, none of it is overly sweet which is really nice. Just a slight little tinge of sweetness. It's good. This is a pancake that's then split into smaller pieces and is usually stuffed with something. The options also include coconut, but this one has peanut in it. So let's give this a try. Oh wow. Really good. Like really strong peanut here. Almost like having peanut butter, but with a lot of sweetness coming from the pancake as well. That's really nice. I like this one. Sweet. I feel like our tour guide made it sound sweeter than it actually is. 
I guess their version of maybe like masala chai. So what we have here is a Malaysian version of roti that comes with egg and onions. And it comes with three different curries. So we have dal curry, we have a fish curry, and then we have a sambal. Obviously that's very different to the type of sambal that we had in Sri Lanka. But the idea is that that's meant to be kind of a spice in addition to the curries that we see here. So yeah, very intrigued. Let's give this a try. Yeah. Oh wow. That combination is just fantastic. While it's said that the dal doesn't have much spice, it's actually got a good kick to it. So this is lovely. The fish is good, it's got a bit more acidity to it. I'm not sure it kind of blends well in the same way as the dal does, but it's still good if you're really going for a fish kind of flavour. We just finished our walking tour and what did you think babe? I thought it was awesome. The guide teen teen was supremely knowledgeable and I think it was just a really good mixture of a bit of history, a bit of culture, a bit more talking about food and just kind of giving a general introduction to Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur and what it's all about. So. Yeah, I think as far as walking tours go, then we couldn't really have asked for anything more, not least because there was also like a couple of structured breaks in between as well, which was great. So if you're going to be doing a walking tour of Kuala Lumpur, then look out for Teen Teen. She's great. I think we'll probably link her tour below as well. Exactly. What about you? I really enjoyed it for the same reasons. I thought that she was super friendly. She gave really helpful tips. She had a lot of expressions, so she kept it interesting because she was constantly mixing it up with like history, culture, modern life, food. I found it particularly interesting to learn that Malaysia is really built from a lot of different nationalities as well as religions. Like you have Muslim, I think, is the most popular religion here, but then you also have like Buddhist. We went to a Taoist temple. She pointed out an Anglican church from when the British were here. And then, of course, just as we said, the nationalities. There seem to be like Malay people, Chinese people, and then a lot of, I think, Indian people too who live here. And everyone seems to live here in harmony. You're about to run into a garbage can. Yeah, I thought it was a really interesting tour and we got to see kind of the different areas where those subgroups kind of gather. So, highly recommend it. Initially, when we set out for the day, we were very set on doing a couple of other things. But honestly, when we got back from our walking tour, we were just bushed. And at the same time, we discovered that in among many other great things that this apartment can provide us, it also has Netflix. So we have been spending most of the afternoon catching up on the second season of The Lincoln Lawyer. 
And that is us throwing shade at Netflix for cracking down on password sharing and having to log into the same IP address at least once a month, which is why we cannot have Netflix while we're traveling. This is why we can't have nice things, Netflix. <laughs> sort of out. But I think this is what we needed to just have a chill afternoon. And in all fairness to us, we did a lot of walking this morning because we walked to the meeting point of the tour. We did a three and a half hour walking tour and then we walked back. And just the walking to the tour and back from the tour was an hour and 15 minutes of walking. And equally, because we're adjusting on the time zone, because there's a two and a half hour difference between Sri Lanka and Malaysia, then I think we're still adjusting. So we only got about six hours of sleep last night anyway. My Fitbit said five, so... Well, yeah, like I only went to sleep at 2 a.m. Exactly. I like how we're justifying this. We're like, that's why we didn't do anything else. <laughs> we're really sorry. We just want you to believe us. But we have like a day tomorrow where we don't really have any set plans. So it just means the whole day is free for us to do whatever yeah. we want to. And we have a list of stuff that we want to crack on with. And we'll definitely bring you along. So until the next time, take care. And keep smiling. Yes, I'm going to the gym. So if you feel like working out, this is your daily reminder. Get your physical activity in.